Hey, beautifuls. Hey, gorgeous. Ah, uh, it's been a long ass time. Should I, should I have been bleeped? It's been a long bleep to bleep time since I've seen you guys. It's been forever. It feels like to me at least. And um, I just, <laughs> Jackie Cassidy, my friend Jackie, decided to call me out and um, ask me what it is that I learned, you know, with some new news that I've gotten this week. So here I am. Um, if you're not familiar with me, I'm Carly Myers. I'm the founder of A Piece of Positivity Studios. And what I do is I help people who are feeling stuck in their life, in their careers, build a life that feels like home. Hey, Cody. And I, you know, I like to say, hey, Joanne, we're going to be talking soon. Um, <laughs> what I do is I really... Um, and helping people build a life that feels like home without sacrificing progress, AKA I make adulting fun. And um, so as of lately, I actually, last Saturday, I was told, so I had some jaw pain since about New Year's Eve, and I thought, well, I had a cold, and um, you know, maybe it was the sinus pressure causing my jaw to hurt, and you know, once I get, get over this cold, this, you know, my jaw will start to feel better. I get over the cold, jaw still hurts, I'm having trouble sleeping a little bit, um, like don't even want to talk, you know, my jaw hurts. So I end up going to the, um, to the doctor and then to the dentist after the doctor's like, oh, you need to go to the dentist. And so I get to the dentist and they tell me that I pull a muscle in my jaw and my friend so then, you know, I, they gave me some pain meds because it's really, it really hurts. And they tell me all these things, like have like a little, I have my little hand warmers, like heat, apply heat, um, do like salt water rinse, hold some salt water on the inside of my mouth, you know, over there to give it some, like the muscles a chance to relax and heal. And, um, <laughs> hey, Tori. So, you know, I'm going through all of this. I learned this. And, you know, I'm doing my morning, my morning journaling. And, you know, I, if you're not familiar with what I do, I do stream of consciousness writing. So literally anything goes. Like I can give into my like inner five-year-old and I'm like, F this, you know, screw that. Or I could be like, oh my gosh, I'm hungry right now. Um, it could be anything or I could be delving into why, what I'm grateful for or what I'm not. So um, anything really goes. And then I end each of my journal entries with, um, a, an intention. So I make an intention for every single day. So I usually kind of think back of everything that came up for me that day in my stream of consciousness, everything that was in my consciousness, and think of an intention that needs to be um, to be had. So, um, you know, I had done a lot of, you know, in this specific entry, you know, this, this, the beginning of this week, I was like, you know, I, I feel overwhelmed my jaw hurts. I was writing something else. And then I was like, Oh, my jaw hurts. And my jaw hurts. And I really don't feel like I understand, um, X person as well as I should understand them. And, and, you know, there was all of these things that all had to do with a simple intention. And the intention for me came down to, to listen more than I speak. And of course, Jackie was like, that's great. Oh my gosh. Yes. It makes so much sense because the doctors, all, the dentist is also telling me, you know, if you could limit your talking, um, limit your in consumption of beef jerky, because that's how I actually ended up, I ended up hurting my jaws by eating beef jerky, which is ridiculous. Um, you know, that would be great. And so what came of this for me, you know, what the guiding guidepost for me was, is that I should probably talk a little less, which is why I was like, should I even make a Facebook video about this? Should I share this um, with you guys? And the answer was yes, in this context it's helpful. And so what I want to ask you is, is there anything in your life that kind of, that, that kind of sucks or kind of doesn't? Maybe, maybe there's just something in your life that, um, that could be a guidepost for you. That could be the thing that if you think about it a little bit more, if you do some, if you sit down and do some writing yourself, that it would show you what exactly what you need to do to resolve everything. And so I like to think that the universe, that God, whatever you might call it, um, spirit, you know, whatever, that they were like, okay, we're gonna make your jaw hurt um, so that you get the lesson, so that you can, you know, 
relax your mouth a little bit and use these bad boys a little bit more. And so my question to you is where in your life can that guidepost be? Look, take a look around, see what comes up for you. Um, and if you don't have that guidepost, that's okay too. And, um, but if you feel like you need one, I'm also going to say, let's talk. Um, because I really am an expert in my field at helping people who feel stuck in their life and their career get unstuck to make progress, to figure out what it is that their intention needs to be, what it is that they need to do to move forward. So um, I actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I really want to talk to you guys privately, but I also, so if you want to talk to me privately, DM me. But I also have an event coming up um, by backed by popular demand. My last one completely sold out. Um, and you guys have heard me talk about these workshops all the time. Um, January 31st from 7 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. at United by Blue in Old City, Philly, I am doing another Feeling Salty workshop. And um, it's all about how to figure out what you want and having fun doing it and creating connections and being vulnerable. And, and really, it's just figure out what you want and how to get there. What's the intention for 2018? Around this time every year, we start to drop off of our New Year's resolutions. We start to drop off the intentions. We start to kind of just lose motivation. Why is it that we're doing this uh, to begin with? To begin with, we kind of lose our why. And so if you feel like you need that guidepost, you feel like you're about to slip or you've already slipped in the New Year with the resolutions, I really, really would love to see you at my next Feeling Salty workshop on January 31st. Um, I put the link in the description for this so that I wouldn't forget to tell you about it, and it worked. So um, if you wanna go, make sure that you click the link. It's really affordable, it's $10 a ticket, and the group's pretty small, so you'll get lots of attention, and um, get your 2018 off to a really, really good start. But without further ado, I have a six o'clock and I gotta eat a little food um, and try to rest my jaw a little bit before I start talking again. Um, but hey, Catherine. Um, but I love you guys. I love you. I love you. And I hope to see you on January 31st. And if you're not in Philly, DM me. Let's talk privately because I think now is the time to set the intentions. Now is the time to be the person you wanna be. So, all right. I love you. Thank <laughs> you.